Hi, my name is Alexis Stewart and I'm the Director for Strategic Programs at Mercy Radiology. I've worked across a variety of different industries, uh, larger infrastructure organisations, higher education, financial services and public health. And I've worked across these in operational and strategic leadership positions. Uh, but this new role is, is my favourite so far. In this role, I'm looking at value-based healthcare solutions. So that is looking at how we can use technology to make us more efficient, uh, how we can use it to measure and track patient outcomes, how we can trigger activity, um, how we can use it to coordinate, navigate and engage our patients along their journeys. So the key piece of advice that I was given early on in my career um, has really helped me shape what my career has become. And that was to set some stretch goals, to set yourself a personal strategic plan around what you want to achieve. Think about where you are now and where you want to be this time next year. Think about where you want to be in five years time, in 10 years time, what industries you want to work in, what work you want to be doing, what kind of positions you want to have. And then think about what kind of experience, training um, and development you're going to need to get yourself there. And use that strategic plan and use those stretch goals to guide your decision making uh, throughout your career. And as, as life progresses, you know, your goals, they will change. Um, but if you keep them visible and you keep them top of mind, you're much more likely to achieve them. The other key piece of advice that I was given quite recently was to learn how to say no. Um, you've got to be able to prioritise, um, take a step back and think about what's really important. Because if you say yes to everything, then you can spread yourself a little too thinly. And if you spread too thinly, then that impacts the quality of the work that you're producing. So you need to learn how to say no. Set yourself some stretch goals, set yourself a strategy for the future, and then let that guide your decision making. A host of credible researchers have proven that if you have gender diversity on your boards and in your senior leadership team, then your company will do better financially. So this kind of research shows that if you have gender diversity in your organisation, both in leaderships and across your workforce, then you're going to be more successful, you're going to be more effective, you're going to be more profitable. And who doesn't want that? Gender parity, are we there yet? No, we're not there yet, but we are on the journey. We're in a better position now than we were five years ago. And five years ago, we were in a better position than we were five years prior to that. So I'm hoping that in five years time, we're going to be in a better position than we are now. Girls are outperforming boys in schools and those girls are growing up. Industries and organisations that have set gender diversity quotas on their boards and in their senior leadership team are starting to see a statistical shift towards gender parity. Wow. Three words of advice for women starting off in their career. Believe in yourself. You can do it. Throw yourself in the deep end. That's the fastest way to learn. You learn and grow quickly the more challenges you give yourself. You can do it. Believe in yourself. You've got this.